change in supply. When we talk about economics, we, when we say a change in supply, what we mean is the entire curve, or in this case the red line, shifts up and back and forth like that. A change in supply can be the result of change in resource prices, a change in technology, a change in taxes and subsidies, a change in prices of other goods, a change in the number of suppliers, and of course a change in expectations can all shift uh, supply. So what happens when supply decreases? There's been an increase of input prices, taxes have increased, uh, there could be less suppliers, and ex an expected decrease in competitive goods, there's new regulations that are coming, so on and so forth. All these can reduce supply. A decrease in supply means the entire curve shifts up and to the left. What happens is there's market forces that begin to pressure the prices to rise. Also, less quantity will be consumed at higher prices. A decrease in supply an, uh, moves the curve to the left. Notice something else too. At the same price, if we hold price fixed, and we just look at these supply curves, at the same price, less quantity is demanded or consumed. Less quantity is supplied as well. So let's look at this without the demand curve so you can see a little easier. So there's been a decrease in supply. It moves to the left. At the same price, less quantity will be uh, produced. In this case, quantity demand is greater than quantity supply. Those are the market forces that we're referring to. Inventory levels fall. There's a shortage. Suppliers are forced to raise prices to prevent running out. This is what happens when supply decreases. So what happens when supply increases? There's been a decrease in price of inputs. There's been a tax cut or tax decrease. There's more suppliers. Barriers to entry fall. There's been removal of regulations, so on and so forth. When supply increases, supply curve shifts downward and to the right, and prices fall. Quantity consumed, the quantity uh, demanded increases. There's pressures for prices to fall. The market forces are that Quantity demand is less than quantity supplied. Inventory levels begin to rise. There is a surplus. Suppliers are forced to lower prices to prevent surpluses. So here we go. <coughs> An increase in supply means that the supply curve has shifted downward and to the right, and at the same price, more quantity will be supplied as you see from Q1, uh, Q0 to Q1. So again, we're talking about supply, shifting left and right, is a result of changes in resource prices, a change in technology, a change in taxes and subsidies, change in prices of other goods, change in suppliers, and also a change in expectations.